Now, the controversial death of a young Dalit girl who was studying to be a teacher in Rajasthan's Bikaner district has now acquired a new twist. Police investigations have revealed that the girl probably committed suicide. At the Jain Adarsh Girls Teachers Training College, Bikaner, the death of a young Dalit girl under mysterious circumstances, now a political controversy. On the 28th of March, the 17-year-old girl who was training to be a teacher was found at midnight in a PT teacher's room. The hostel administration, instead of reporting the matter, made the girl and the PT teacher write a letter in which they said they had made a mistake and would not repeat it. The next morning at 7 a.m., the girl disappeared and was found dead in the school's water tank four hours later. The police at first registered a case of murder and rape and also arrested the principal and warden along with the PT teacher. But after a second post-mortem, it was changed to suicide. The PMO report came. The PMO report came. I wrote that she didn't have water in her water. So in the re-opinion, they told us that when they asked the re-opinion, we didn't have to ask the re-opinion. So how did the re-opinion get the re-opinion? Human rights groups say the police is ignoring evidence. Other students they spoke to have alleged that when the girl disappeared, they looked for her in the water tank but found no signs of the body. So we are saying, okay, death due to drowning, but how are you ruling out murder? But the police, after the second post-mortem report, have removed the murder charge. इससे आज जो हमने पोस्टमार्टम रिपोर्ट में जो हमने क्लेरिफिकेशन लिया है जो हमें इसकी जो डाइटम की रिपोर्ट मिली है तो उससे जो है ड्रोनिंग की पुष्टि हो गई है और एफएसएल रिपोर्ट में जो उनके कपड़े वगैरह बरामद किए थे चद्दर हैं उनसे जो है उनपे सीमन और जो वो मिले हैं यालामात उनसे उसकी the Dalit Meghwal community to which the victim belongs is politically influential and they are holding protests demanding justice for the girl. With Shamshu Zoha in Jaipur, Harsha Kumari Singh, NDTV.